Hello everyone. This is Adish. I'm a grade 10 student from Mumbai. So today's problem is, is it the SU hard? The difficulty level of this problem is easy because you only need to know the map data structure in C++ or a balanced binary search tree. So in this problem, we actually don't need to know the union find data structure and we could solve it by using a map data structure, which I'll be showing in the explanation. So in this problem, we are basically given a list of n words, which are strings containing only lowercase English letters. And we need to find the number of strings, number of words which are equivalent to each other, the largest set of words which are equivalent to each other. And the words are equivalent if one word can be obtained by rearranging the letters of another word. So let's take an example. Let's say we have four words. These are the four words. So in this case, the second and third word form the largest set of equivalent words and we will print two. So in general, the key idea is that you can sort the words to make sure that they are in the increasing order of the alphabets of the characters. So this should be AAA, this should be AAB, this should be AAB and this should be AAC. So in this way, you just need to find out the count of the largest set of equivalent words. And you could do that by using an order, an ordered map or a map to store the count of each word and you could also use a union fund data structure which stores which basically merges uh, words together but that's not needed a simpler method is just to use a map and to count the number of occurrences of each character because we know that the sum of all characters can be up to 10 power of 6 that's why this will easily work in one second because it's 10 power of 6 log 10 power of 6 which is about 2 into 10 power of 7 which will easily work in one second and i'll show you the code implementing the same idea so in the code, I use fast IO and I take in the value of n. I use an unordered map because this is faster in the average case. And um, in the in obviously there's a hash collision possibility, but we don't need to worry about that now. Then for each value of n, each string, we'll take in the string, we'll sort it, and we'll increase the frequency of that string in the map. And fast IO may be necessary. Um, in case the time limit is strict and the answer will basically represent the maximum value across the map. So for all elements in the map, we will set the answer to be the maximum of the answer and the frequency of that element, which is given by the second counter in the map. The first value is the string and the second value is the int. So we take the maximum frequency and we print that in the answer. And now I'll just submit this code to see if it gets accepted. So as you can see, my code got accepted in 0.02 seconds, which is fast enough for our purposes. If you had any doubts, do leave them in the comments down below. And if you like this solution, don't forget to give it a thumbs up.